hello and happy Tuesday. Before I start this video, I just want to show you my little spot stealer. She's my spot stealer. I was just sitting there. It is 78 degrees out today, which is lovely. Today we got three miles. Feeling nervous about it because I've just been a little bit slow lately. So I decided to run from home today, looking up some different track runs. So we're gonna do that. I'll let you know how it goes, but I have to do three miles. <laughs> I did a terrible job. I did 3.15 miles in 44 minutes. But the reason why I did that is because I had intervals, which according to my phone, I also did wrong, but I know I didn't do it incorrectly. There was a point where I had run 200 meters and it didn't account for those 200 meters, something along those lines. It just stayed. It was like, it glitched out. I don't know why. So that's fun. Thank you, Apple, for doing that. I guess that's why people say Garmin's are superior. I might try it on a track next time, but it was good to at least figure out because I know I'm going to be doing interval training in the future um, when I'm trying to improve my speed because my speed's been pretty stagnant and this is supposedly supposed to help you with that. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how I do. But I did okay today. For my first one, I would say I did pretty well. All right, on to Thursday. Hello and happy Thursday. I'm currently videoing from my car. I just got out of work. I got out early today because um, I worked like a 12 hour day yesterday. It is 75 degrees out. I'm gonna do five easy today. Obviously you can hear the air is blasting. This time I brought my sunscreen so we should be good. I also have like water and I will see you at the preserve. All right, here we have my sunscreens. I'm here. Just finished packing up my everything. <laughs> Basically just moving things around. It's a packed house, so we'll see how this goes. I don't think I'm gonna go for the zones per se because this might just be a try and get around people kind of deal, but that's okay. Five miles, here we go. in 80 degree weather complete now did I do a good job no either in heart rate or time both of those were not good but I did enjoy myself and that's what matters I just wrote down all of my stats and they look terrible but I enjoyed myself total time 1 hour 13 minutes and 46 seconds Average time, 14.37, which I guess for an easy run is like typical, but it's worse than typical. Um, I've never run in temperatures like that. I started running in October, September, October. I took a lot of walking breaks, um, partially because I was tired and sweaty. Like my entire body, I took a break to go get water and my entire body was just sweat. Zones, zone one, 701, zone two, 2316, which is good, but it's not my best because three was 3443 and four was 840. And then there was nothing in five. <laughs> Woohoo, oh my God, this is going by so fast. All right, I'll see you guys on Saturday. Good morning and happy Saturday. I'm currently at the Forest Preserve and it is 725. I'm I was supposed to get here at 6.30, but uh, of course I didn't. Um, that's okay though, I have the whole day, so it's fine. I'm doing 10 miles today. I've got a route, it is 60 degrees, not 85. It's supposed to get up to 81 today though, so 
I'm running early and my half marathon is going to be early in the morning too, which now I know why they do it so early, not only because of traffic, but also it is cooler in the morning, especially in the summer. So, so just wanted to mention right now, Run Disney is having their springtime surprise and it's really fun. Um, I'm watching some of my favorite Disney run influencers. One of my favorite is running and makeup, as I've mentioned her before. Um, she dressed up as Mike Wazowski for the 10K. That's so cute. It's so fun to see everyone's costumes. And she was a traffic cone for the 5K, which is hilarious. I love that. And then another lady I follow is Jen from With Wonder. Her username is With Wonder. She's a newer one that I follow. Um, and she's, she's super sweet. She's actually from where I live, I think. Um, but I love watching like her solo travels and stuff. Um, she dressed up as a, uh, oh God, the guy from Up, the kid from Up. Anyway, it's so fun to see everyone. They're running at like five in the morning. I'm, I told you I need to go and I'm going on a tangent. So it's just fun to watch everyone and I hope someday that will be me. Okay, I forgot to mention, I have two more. Michael does Diz, love him. He and his husband both go to Disney a lot and they're so cute. They're also from Chicago. Um, his energy is just like unmatched. Like, I don't know that much about Disney, but it's really fun to like learn about it from him. Like he's just like genuine. He the other one is Run So Disney. She lives, all of them live in Chicago or the Chicago suburbs other than running and makeup and Heather Jurgensen. Those are the other two that I like. Anyway, that was just my little shout out. I need to stop. <laughs> And that's two times too many. I don't know if it's dead or if it's gonna attack me. And I don't wanna take that chance. I don't wanna take that chance. All right, I'm six in, having a goo. I'm starting to get tired again. I was really tired the first two miles, then I was fine. Now my feet are starting to get tired, so. I just hit nine. Heart rate is just struggling. I'm struggling a little bit. My time has gone down tremendously. But you know what? We're still getting it done. It's okay to be slow. I can do one mile in nine minutes and 30 seconds, but I can do 10 and 13 minute average. So there is definitely variety there. And my feet are killing me. But I have less than a mile left. I'm at 9.1. I got 0.9 left. About 10 miles done. And I am exhausted. So the beginning, the first two miles, I was miserable. Then the next three, four, five, I was great. I was enjoying myself. And then at the end, my feet started hurting. And then I was back to being miserable. So it started and ended miserably. And the middle was good so tired I need to um, refuel when I get home and two words blue slushy blue icy homemade I know how to make them at home with my food processor so we got a zero sugar one I'm gonna make 10 miles done Let's assess so compared to my previous weeks more. I did like a minute better with my eight mile, but you know what? We did it. There are a lot of factors that can affect how you do things. This week was not a good running week. I had a lot going on and I think my runs were affected by it. I don't know. My average time was 13, 18. Usually I'm in the 12s, 11s with faster runs, say like five and under I'm in the 11s. Three, three and under, I'm in the 10s. And this 10, I'm in the 13s. So it's interesting, you see, as you need more time and more miles, my time is just going up, so. And heart rate zones, zone one was 24 minutes, zone two was 29, 59, so basically 30 minutes, which is good because I didn't get that much time in zone two. 
on Thursday. So I kind of made it up. Zone three, 59.42. So most of this was in zone three, which isn't a bad zone to be in. You don't want to be in zones one, four, and five. You want to be in two and three. So most of my time was spent in zones two and three. And then zone four was 19.13 and I wasn't in zone five at all, which is interesting. Yeah, it started getting really hot towards the end. So I'm glad I ran when I did because now it's in the 70s. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys for week eight crazy that it's already almost week eight but yeah bye